welcome back to my channel. Tonight we have a super fun night planned for us. Everything with rainbow, colorful, unicorn, fun makeup, you guys. And you know at slumber parties when you do a face mask and you just do fun stuff, I even did that. So before we get started, make sure you guys thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel because I have a huge 600,000 subscriber giveaway coming up that you guys do not want to miss. Right now it is 3 a.m. Yes, I really had like a full on fun slumber party night with you guys. This isn't a look that I would wear this highlight and a rainbow eye together. But you know, we're just having fun playing in makeup. The new Too Faced collection. There's some Bitter Lace Beauty going on in here. And I cannot get enough of this Festival Refresh Spray. Get your champagne, get your wine. I would have had my champagne, but our shipment does not get here until Tuesday. Yeah, let's get right into this makeup tutorial. Okay, love, so we are going to be getting started here. And in this video, I'm going to be doing it a little different because I already have about 10 more PR boxes already came to my PO box. So I was like, you know, how often can I do those kinds of videos? So instead, what I can do is use these products in my makeup tutorials. So here are the boxes that I have that I'm going to be playing with and showing you guys. So for one, I'm going to start with my CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir Lip Oil. You guys, I have been loving this. You guys saw me open this in my last PR unboxing. So much better. So out of all this stuff I got, this was the first thing I opened. I was super, super excited about this, you guys. I've been feeling like my skin just is kind of clogged a little bit and just needs to get like deep clean somehow. So I got this, you guys. And when I opened it, I was like, what is this? Then I opened it and look, it is a space charcoal mask. And these have been super, super popular. It's really like sleek and hello. It has the same name as my boyfriend, Space. And I have not seen one this big. So I'm really excited about this. So it does not have directions on the box. So on the website, it says clean skin with the warm towel. And I'm kind of nervous because they always look like they hurt. Charcoal powder reduces pore size by removing toxins and oils. Vitamin B3 brightens dull skin and attracts water from its environment, leaving you with naturally hydrated skin. So, okay, you guys, here we go. It says, apply a generous amount to the face. Avoid eyes, lips, hairline, brows, and beard if you have one. Okay, here we go. It feels kind of like jelly, like kind of like slime. It is kind of thick. It says wait 20 minutes for mask to dry. It should be very easy to peel. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, you guys, it has been 20 minutes and I'm literally so scared, but okay. Let's just start. Mm. Like how, where do you start? Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh, this is so easy. Oh my gosh. Ooh, oh, it feels so good coming off. Okay, so for the rest, I'm just going to, oh, it comes off so easily. My skin is so balanced and smooth and it's not oily like all of the oil and dead skin cells are gone. 
So thank you guys so much for sending this to me. This was such a treat. I'm so happy I finally got to try one and it did not wax my face off. So I will have the link below for you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and continue with my normal skincare. So I'm going in with my Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Serum, which I just absolutely love. And this was a sample because I order my eye makeup remover from them. And I just love this. So when this runs out, I will be getting the full size. I'll put the link below to this and all the other products to you guys. So first aid beauty, triple remedy overnight balm. Then I'm going to take the Tatcha water cream and I'm not going, oh my gosh, my skin is so smooth after that peel. I'm doing the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme, as you guys know. I've been using this for like five years now. And I always do Fix Plus with my skincare. So I'm going to try the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation, and this is in Pecan 18. And I'm really hoping for the best with this because it is natural. And now that I changed my diet and I'm strictly plant-based, I am so excited for this because I need something more natural for my skin. It's just becoming more and more sensitive to chemicals and stuff. So I'm going to take my professional pearl primer from Benefit and you guys know I am in love with this. So I'm gonna put this all over. Oh my gosh, my skin is so soft like Okay, here we go. And they literally matched my colors so perfect. So I'm taking their Lux Performance brush. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look how this covers my redness. Wow. Okay, Bare Minerals. Whoa. I can still see my skin. Wow. Again, I'm in Pecan 18. Okay, so there's a few things I grabbed. The NC20 Studio Fix Perfecting Stick. The one that I used to use all the time, you guys, the MAC Studio Conceal and Correct Duo in Mid Yellow and Mid Peach. Looks like that. I'm going to go in and contour with my Fenty Beauty Stick so that then maybe I can just blend everything out together. Well, let's start on an area that we don't care about so that it'll take up all the product from there and like not under our eyes. Okay, I'm going to set this with my Patrick Star setting powder. So I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix. And I'm just seeing how light of a layer I can do. Which the foundation has done a large part of the work. So, So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly fill in my brows with the MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil. Mm -hmm. 
And to clean up my brows, I'm actually going to try this Maybelline Brow Precise Illuminator Perfection Stick. And they sent this to me. They sent me a lot of products like a while ago. And so I've been wanting to try this. So let's see, because it looks really cool. Okay, you guys, so the next product that I have here is one of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzers. <laughs> you guys know I was just talking about finding a bronzer. Then I saw these came out. So it took me a while to try to figure out what color I was, but I went with saddle. And this is what it looks like compared to my Riri Hearts Mac. So I hope it is not too dark. I'm going to go ahead and try to use it with this MAC 135 brush. It is a little on the dark side. They did say this was for medium skin tones with neutral or olive undertones, which I feel is me. I don't know, I'll have to see when I'm done and see how I like it. Okay, you guys, next. What we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Two Face Life is a Festival Collection. So let me hurry up with this tutorial, you guys. I feel like I've been in here for hours and we only have this on. So I got one, two, three items. I did really, really love the rainbow highlighter, but I am going to get to that in a little while. So first I got the refresh spray. And you guys, like, I felt like the collection was a little pricey, but after I got it in my hands and I saw the packaging, I was like, oh my gosh, they should have like had a picture of their packaging as well, because I can totally see like where the higher price comes from. I can totally see why now like it is at the price point it's at. So if you were wondering that, yes, I do definitely feel like it's worth the price. Here is the super cute palette. Oh my gosh, look at that. And let me pull it back a little so you can see the true color. And when I first opened it, I wasn't super duper impressed. I was just like, mm, I felt like they could do like a stronger hot pink or reddish or a prettier purple. I just kind of felt like mm, with the colors, but you guys, when I tell you this palette is everything, it is really everything. Okay, so I'm going to start with Beaming. Wow, look at that. And they do have a lot of fallout, but that to me is heaven because that means that they're going to build up really strong. Like, do you guys see how these colors are going on? Sunset Dream. Oh gosh, the formula on these. Oh my gosh, are just so bomb. <gasps> oh, that pink, I can't pass that one up. Ooh, whoa. <gasps> so I'm going to use the MAC Farasha, which was from their Indian inspired collection. And just go right into this crease. So now I'm going into the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette and I'm taking this super, super hot pink. You can take any hot pink that you have, but this one is super duper strong. Oh, 
Oh. And blend this out. I am not even going to tell you guys what this product is. My ride or dies already know what it is. Oh yeah, by the way, if you know what this is, then leave it below. I knew I knew that I wanted to use this in the beginning, but I was like, no, we're not gonna go in on them and just kill them like that. orange oh my gosh you guys it seems like I've been gone forever Babe got home and we ate and we were talking and then I was kind of falling asleep on the couch because it is midnight right now. Oh my gosh, okay, let's get back to this makeup tutorial. Our next package is from L'Oreal. So it looks like this. Ooh, sexy. Ooh, X Fiber. Thank you, L'Oreal, for sending this. Looks like this. That is cool. I wanted to try out this nude one. This is in the color Nude Beige. They're infallible eye pencil. So I'm going to put that in the wet line. And this is also great for deeper skin tones if you do not want to use a stark white. So we're actually going to go in with Fun in the Sun. And then we're going to go in with Fireflies. Now I'm going to grab my Simpsons palette from MAC and take this green color in the color Apple Squishy. Ooh, perfect. And I still need that inner corner to be just a little lighter, so I'm going to take MAC's True Chartreuse. Now we're ready to go into this teal. And we are going to finish off with a little bit of this purple. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and put on my black eyeliner and I switched out the um, nude eyeliner for the infallible black liner. And these are a ton of lashes for my 600,000 subscriber giveaway. So thank you, Lady Lashes, so, so much. You guys were so sweet. They reached out and said, hey, can we sponsor your giveaway? I said, absolutely. They sent me so many lashes in here, you guys. These are looking cute. Belle, they look like this. So my lashes are on. Now we are to the best part of the night. Oh my gosh. And it is a care package full of rainbow unicorn fun freaking makeup, you guys. So I'm not going to go in depth here. To make a long story short, this is the last product I got in the Too Faced collection. And it is absolutely beautiful. It is the Magic Rainbow Strobing Brush. It is so heavy. It is so beautiful. It feels like a princess wand, you guys. From the pictures I saw, I felt like this brush was going to be cheap. I don't know. But when I got it, I was like, whoa. So another thing that was in the Too Faced collection was a rainbow highlighter. And I knew that this company was the first to create this rainbow highlighter. I went and purchased it from Bitter Lace Beauty and they came out with this like two and a half years ago. She is a beauty, here she is. Oh my gosh. Like for one, look at the packaging. It looks mighty, mighty familiar. And the holder which is so super cute. 
Oh, and by the way, these are made by hand, you guys. This one is called Prism, the original rainbow highlighter. Oh, it's so cute. So that's what it looks like in there. Isn't it just beautiful? So we are going to highlight. Yes, we're going to do a rainbow on top of rainbow eyes just to have fun. So I thought this highlighting brush was amazing. So I'm just going to line it up. and get that product on there. Look at that. This smells so good. And guess what it just happens to smell like? Even the reason why I wanted to get this one was that I saw that the Too Faced one wasn't like sheer like this. I feel like in order for this to really look like a spectrum and a rainbow, it has to be sheer. So back to the story. When I checked out for my order for this rainbow highlighter, I told them, hey, it's time the infamous. Oh my God. And I said, you know, I'm just coming to support you guys. And this is what I purchased. And I literally got this entire box of makeup. And I mean, it keeps going and 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 going like are you kidding like you guys i don't even know what is in here oh my god there's more look how cute No, I'm not going to run out. Thank you, Bitter Lace Beauty, seriously. Their card is so sweet. They said, time, I'm completely starstruck. You are such a beautiful soul. Not sure how you found out about us and our rainbow highlighter, but I am extremely excited for you to give us a try, et cetera, et cetera. You guys had one of the biggest products of the moment at that time when this rainbow highlighter came out. Like, who did not know about this highlighter? And then the sad part, I knew about the highlighter before it got super popular, and I kept procrastinating, saying, oh, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. And it was sold out for months and months and months and months and months, you guys. It's in stock now, you guys. Go support them. Okay, you guys, so for my lips, I obviously kept it really simple. I did my favorite stripped down lip liner. On top of that, I did the NYX lingerie in Cheekies, which I love. And on top of that, I did the KKW in Kimberly. This is my favorite one. That is it. Like, I don't think we can do anything more at this point. Oh, duh. We have to finish off. Mmm. And it smells literally exactly like sweet tarts. Ooh, that kind of made my rainbow highlighter pop, girl. If you got this palette, let me know your thoughts below on it. In my opinion, I absolutely love this palette. I definitely think it's worth the money. I absolutely love this rainbow brush and I absolutely love the spray. So I'm super happy with my purchases. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you later.